Hey y'all, it's Stephanie from Returning Grace. Welcome back for another fun fall craft DIY. Today we're going to learn how to make these DIY pine cone topiaries. First, we'll gather our supplies. I used this seven inch styrofoam ball, mini pine cones, a wooden dowel, hot glue and glue sticks. I also used black spray paint and I'll share more about that in a minute. I have all the supplies and blog posts linked here in the video caption. Okay, let's get started. First, you're gonna take the styrofoam ball outside and spray paint it. I use this box to hold the styrofoam ball while I spray paint it to prevent it from going all over the place. You wanna apply a nice even coat of spray paint over the entire surface of the styrofoam ball. This is just gonna give a nice dark background over the entire surface of the styrofoam ball. That way when you add the pine cones, if there's any space, it'll be covered up by the black. And really just kind of blend in so that you don't see any of the space. Once the styrofoam balls are dry, it's time to start adding pine cones. First, you're gonna run a long line of hot glue along the surface of the styrofoam ball. You wanna work with just one half of the styrofoam ball at first and you'll see why in just a minute. Add the pine cones in an alternating pattern. You want things to look organic and natural so you don't wanna line them up straight or have them look exactly the same. You also wanna add in different shapes of pine cones. Some are smaller, so you wanna put those next to the larger pine cones and kinda of alternate the position. Again, just to keep everything organic and natural looking. After you've covered that entire line of high glue with pine cones, it's time to move on to the next step. You'll add another line of high glue right next to the line that you initially started with and continue down. Now continue adding pine cones the same way that you did before, alternating patterns and sizes to keep things organic and nothing lined up perfectly. You wanna continue adding pine cones and hot glue to the entire surface of the styrofoam ball. It's important to only work with one half of the styrofoam ball at a time. Working with only one half of the ball allows the glue time to set and that way the pine cones are secure when you flip the ball over. You'll continue this process over the entire surface of the ball and stop right at the end when you have just a small amount of space left to cover. Before completely covering the styrofoam ball, you'll need to add the hole that you'll insert the dowel in. So you'll want to just insert the dowel, making a hole about one and a half inches deep into the styrofoam ball. Then remove the dowel and continue filling in the space with pine cones until the entire surface is covered and only the hole is exposed. Next, we're gonna prep our dowel rod. I bought a 7 16 36 inch dowel rod and cut it in half. Then we're gonna use rub and buff to coat the surface. I used rub and buff because I wanted a vintage gold look. You can also stain the dowel rod, paint it, or even leave it natural wood. Since rub and buff is a wax, it dries fairly quickly. While your rub and buff is drying, you wanna prep your urns. I thrifted these urns and added dry floral foam to hold the dowel in place. To assemble the topiaries, you'll want to add the dowel to the dry floral foam. You want to add the styrofoam balls with pine cones to the top and then cover the base with moss. And it's all done. What do you think? I love the way it added a natural element to my fall tablescape. And really, these can be used all throughout the seasons until winter. If you'd like a list of supplies, you can head to the caption. You can also head to my account, returninggrace.com, for more projects written instructions, tips, and sources. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe so you're notified for the next projects.